up you guys it's Tommy here and uh, today we're gonna be talking about uh, improv like imp improv classes uh, improv comedy and when I was in college I there was a period of time where after I had gotten into a car accident I had a lot of time on my hands and and this was really around the time where I uh, committed to began committing to improve my interpersonal and communication influence skills um, and because I had a lot of time on my hands, I uh, decided, I had a hunch to take an improv class. So I'm really glad I did looking back because it really fundamentally shaped my understanding of sales, uh, communication, and influence. So I went into it. I didn't really expect a whole lot out of it. Just had this hunch to do it and uh, knew it was gonna be fun and, and a little bit outside my comfort zone and it was really really fun so if you have an inclination to do that I highly recommend it um, and there was one day where we had an exercise to uh, partner up with someone else and tell a story um, we would tell a story you know real or made up about our day and we would tell it to the partner but the catch was that we couldn't use English we couldn't speak any languages we had to communicate the story through gibberish now we could use our body language we could use tonality tonality but we had to use gibberish and what I was expecting was nothing more than a fun exercise but what ended up happening was incredibly profound um, you know we did this exercise and at the end I was absolutely blown away at how much of the stories we told uh, to each other that we would be able to understand. Like, and I'll give you an example. I was telling a story uh, to, to my partner, like like in gibberish, like this. And, you know, I was... We were telling these stories, like whether it was riding a bike or, or smoking a bong or something. I think I remember um, <laughs> in the story that I told, and 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 uh, likewise the story that my partner told me. I was absolutely blown away at how much I was able to understand, and and, and vice versa. And you might have heard the statistic that you know seven percent of communication happens through words. 38% happens through our tonality and the other majority 55% happens through our body language right so that event you know fundamentally shaped my understanding of sales and communication whether it's on the phone whether it's in person uh, it's it, it really allowed me to be aware of and emphasize how I'm using my tone how I'm using my body language and how I'm emoting, um, because sales is a transference of emotion, right? We've all heard that. So, you know, I, you know, I hope this helps illustrate just how important tonality and body language and, and what you can learn from improv about sales. You know, this has not only impacted my uh, my communication in terms of sales, but also when I when I'm traveling abroad and I'm learning other languages, for example, I was living in Colombia, in Medellin, Colombia this last year. I was learning Spanish. And I think what helped me pick up Spanish much more quickly was not only was I able to just dive in and, and be willing to speak it, even though it might have not might not have been perfect, but also my understanding that it communication is more about the tonality and is more about the body language. And even if you're not getting the specific words right, the grammar, right? If you're emoting and if you're communicating in that way, people are most likely going to understand. And if you observe in that way, you're probably going to pick up a lot more than just focusing on the words, okay? I know I've mentioned this on several different posts, um, but it is incredibly important because communication is so much of it is, it is not about the words. Anyways, Hope you guys got value out of this video and I'll catch you guys soon.